Hi, I'm Eric Wong from Synopsys. I'm here with... Chuck Treffs with Ellisys. We're here to show you the world's first platform-to-platform -platform 10G USB 3.1 demonstration with the... Well, the Ellisys Explorer 350 Protocol Analyzer. Uh, what we'll do is we'll simply place this uh, analyzer here between a host and a device under test using these two ports here. On the back, we'll upload the traffic in real time to a controlling PC so we can monitor throughput and other items. Great, let's take a look at how we've set up the hardware. So Chuck, here we have uh, two HAP70 FPGA-based prototyping platforms. Uh, on the right, we are running our 10G host using a standard USB 3 cable into the Elisys analyzer. That's connected through another standard USB cable yeah. to uh, a platform running our 10G USB 3.1 device controller. And Chuck, this blue cable, how is that connected? Sure, the blue cable is a control cable for the analyzer that uh, will uh, control the analyzer's uh, functions, for example, start and stop capture. Uh, as well, it will allow for the upload of the traffic being captured between your host and the device to be uh, displayed here on the PC uh, on the right side. Uh, so uh, this is going to show uh, the results from the analysis and on the other screen we'll be initiating the data transfers. So let's take a look. On the left screen you can see that we've got our Synopsys 10G USB host and device running. We've connected and enumerated our device as drive D and we have a HD speed benchmarking software um, up and ready to go. And Chuck on the right on the right, we have the uh, Ellis's software here showing various information on the capture between the host and the device, notably the throughput indications here. Great. So I'm going to click Start to start traffic, and then you're going to... Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click the Record button here. So now we're capturing. And if you'll place your attention here, you'll see that the traffic presently right now is well over 900 megabytes per second, approximately 910 megabytes per second. Uh, transfers. We'll go ahead and stop the capture. So I see you've got some data moving. That's the capture data? That's correct. It's uh, being uploaded uh, live in real time. A um, couple of things we can point out that are specific to USB 3.1 if you like. Uh, one is the slightly uh, uh, different uh, scheme being used for the link layer credits. Uh, another one is uh, data block headers. So we'll take a look at those very quickly here. Uh, here, for example, is, uh, and I've selected in the overview, the link credit 2B. You can see that will be highlighted down here in the timing view. Let me just slide that over, and we'll do a little flyover here, and we'll see that that's uh, uh, providing a credit acknowledgement to a uh, uh, data packet here on the left. About 231 nanoseconds after that packet is uh, uh, sent, and if we zoom a little bit more, we can see the new data block headers. And what we'll do is a quick left click and drag here. Let's just take a look at the timing between these. And these are the, the gray items here, in this case from the host. We can see the distance between those is approximately, or precisely in fact, 16 symbols. This represents the 128-132 uh, encoding scheme that's uh, used with USB 3.1. So we've seen three things here to show unique 10G USB 3.1 traffic. Mm -hmm. The first is the performance. Right. The second is the new link layer credit 2. Yes. And the third? The third was the uh, data block headers, and we did a spacing measurement there between two of them that showed the 16 byte distance between them, uh, representative of the new 128-132 encoding scheme used by USB 3.1. All on the, uh, the, the LSS software. Right. Great. Thanks for joining us. Sure, Eric. Thank you very much.